Good evening, everybody. Local sports fans received a special treat last week as the world famous Harlem Globetrotters visited Rapid City. Here's a closer look at the iconic organization. Since 1926, the Harlem Globetrotters have entertained fans with their dazzling style of play. And while it takes basketball skill, a good Globetrotter also needs to have a good heart. I'll say number one, being a good person. Because uh, basketball, it brings people together, so you definitely want to be a good person, always being a, to cheer people up, uh, want to put a smile on people's faces, and want to be a showman. So definitely, man, just always just want to put a smile on a person's face. Just like my man Jet Rivers right here. He's always putting smiles on people's faces. He can shoot the four, got a great handle. But you also got to have some creativity. Check, check. Um, when I first became a Harlem Globetrotter, I didn't know any tricks. Check, check. Um, but the more training camps I came to, the more I learned from the vets. Um, and, you know, like Tutal said, we want to come out here and we want to put on a show. We want to put smiles on people's faces. And what better way to do that than to show them some gratifying Just tricks. You can see the Globetrotters perform some amazing tricks during games. And while they make it look easy, it takes hours of practice. So many hours of, of constant practice and just trying to get the gist of, of how you need to shoot it or how you need to move to complete a, a certain trick. Um, but, you know, I love the process. Um, I love basketball. So, you know, anything involved with a basketball is fun to me. As the name indicates, the Globetrotters perform all across the world and interacting with the fans is one of the best parts of the job. I love meeting new people. Uh, I love learning about new people and just hearing their story too as well and just how basketball brings them together. So it's so amazing to be a part of this organization, not only because we get to play basketball, but we get to affect so many different people around the world, not just here in the United States, but all over the world. I remember going to games and asking for autographs and I remember the feeling that I got when they gave me an autograph. And I also remember the feeling that I got when they didn't give me an autograph. So for me to be in this position and for me to, to, to be able to, to sell jerseys and see kids run around with, with my number on and my name on the back, it's something that's, you know, it, it's incredible. Well, let's jump on in for another edition of a Big Old Fish. And this evening, Luke English is our featured angler. Luke recently reeled in this six pound, 25 inch rainbow trout out of Rapid Creek. Congratulations to you, Luke, and best of luck in the rest of your fishing endeavors. You too can be featured on Big Old Fish. Just send us your picture by using the submit photos link at CodaTV.com. Make sure and give us the full name of the person who caught the fish, what kind of fish it is, how big it is, and where it was caught. Get those pictures in, and we will get you on Big Old Fish. And Jack, there's another big honor for Black Hill State's Joel Scott, as he has been named the National Division II Player of the Year. And of course, Scott and the Yellow Jackets take the court tomorrow in Evansville, Indiana, for the Elite Eight. They're going to take on Minnesota Duluth tomorrow. That game will be at 11 o'clock our time coming up tomorrow. Of course, a good season, unfortunately, came to an end for the South Dakota State women yesterday. That's right. The South Dakota State women, though, with a nice showing in the NCAA tournament. Of course, they had a thrilling overtime win over USC in the opening round on a Friday. And yesterday, they ran into a bit of a buzzsaw, top-seeded Virginia Tech getting the win. But a great season for South Dakota State. And, of course, Rapid City's Drew Gilton and Haley Timmer, a big part of the Jackrabbit success. All right. Thank you very much, Vic. And we'll be right